Welcome to Ask an English Teacher. I'm Amy. Ask me anything. Today's question comes from Stanislaw in Poland. Stanislaw asks, what's the difference between these two sentences? Sentence number one, by the time you read this, I will have left. Sentence number two, by the time you read this, I will be leaving. Stanislaw also asks, do future perfect and future continuous have any usage in spoken English, maybe minimal, or do they only have formal written usage? Thank you for your question. This is a two-part question. So first, I will talk about the differences between the two example sentences. The first example sentence uses future perfect. We use this to talk about an action that will be completed sometime between now and some point in the future. Let's use some examples to illustrate this idea. They will have taken a minimum of 25 classes when they graduate. In this example, the future point in time is graduation. The action that will be completed in the future is take 25 classes. The news will have traveled around the world by tomorrow morning. The future point in time is tomorrow morning and the action that will be completed between now and tomorrow morning is the news traveling around the world. Here's another example. We will have worked for this company for five years next month. The future point in time is next month and the action that will be completed between now and next month is worked for this company. Now let's take a closer look at Stanislaw's example. By the time you read this, I will have left. What is the future point in time? If you said, the time you read this, you are correct. The action that will happen between now and the time you read this is, I will have left. Let's compare that to the other example sentence. By the time you read this, I will be leaving. This is an example of the future continuous tense, sometimes called the future progressive tense. It can be used in a similar way to talk about something that will happen at a future point in time or between now and a future point in time, except instead of the action being completed in the future, it will be happening during that future point in time. So in the example, by the time you read this, I will be leaving, the will be leaving part won't be complete. It will be in progress. It will be happening by the time you read this. Let's look at more examples of the future continuous tense. After six o'clock tonight, they will be working overtime. The future point in time in this example is six o'clock tonight, and the action that will be happening at six o'clock is they will be working overtime. Here's another example. Next time you see me, I will be singing on stage. The future point in time is whenever you see me next and the action that will be happening is I will be singing on stage. One last example and then I'll summarize the difference. I haven't started my homework. I will be studying all night. This example is slightly different. It doesn't really give us a specific point in time, but it gives us an event, studying all night. And we know that will happen in the future and it will happen continuously for a period of time, all night. Now it's time to summarize the main difference between Stanislaw's sentences. The first describes an action that will be completed at a future point in time. He will have already left by the time I read it. 
the second describes something that will be happening at a future point in time. He will be leaving by the time I read it. He will be in the process of leaving. Now for part two of the question. Are these verb tenses really used in spoken English or are they reserved mainly for written or formal English? Both of these verb tenses are used commonly in spoken English as well as written English. They're not as common as the present perfect or present continuous verb tenses, but they are widely and commonly used. Maybe the reason that you may not catch the future perfect is due to pronunciation. When we say will have, we often link and reduce will and have to sound like will of, will of, or sometimes even willa, willa. Let's look at an example. We will have finished by the time you get here, sounds like. We will have finished by the time you get here. We'll have, we'll have. We'll have finished by the time you get here. We'll have. Try saying it with me. We'll have finished by the time you get here. We'll have. How about another example? If you've watched this video this far, you'll have learned a little more about the future perfect and future continuous. You'll have. You'll have. You'll have learned a little more. You'll have. After tonight, I will have seen this movie nine times. I will have. I will have. We can even reduce this further to sound like I'll have. I'll have. After tonight, I'll have seen this movie nine times. I'll have. After tonight, I'll have seen this movie nine times. Great. You get the idea. I really hope this helps. Let me know if it helps or if it's just more confusing. I'm trying to not make this video too long, but if you need more examples or a different explanation or more practice drills, please let me know in the comments and I can make a part two. If you have any English questions you'd like me to answer, please leave them for me in the comment section of this video. I'm always excited to see your questions and start preparing my next video lesson for you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Stanislaw. See you next time. Bye.